Hi everyone, <laughs> and welcome to my first live Influential Humans in My Life series. Um, Y'all requested this when I put a little poll on Instagram, um, and I just thought this would be perfect. And I'm starting off with our focus missionary, Gail. Um, she's incredible. She's also my Bible study leader, so I'm really biased, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely wanted to bring her on because she just chose such a unique and awesome like um, <laughs> path <laughs> after college, and it's something I think that not a lot of people know about, and I don't know. I think it's, it's so fruitful, and uh, it's not the typical like nine-to-five job we all have to get at the end of the day, so... Yeah. So yeah, Gail, do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah. Like like Isabella said, my name's Gail. Uh, I am originally from Texas, from Cold Station, Texas. I did my undergrad uh, at Texas A&M University, Gagum Nikes. Um, and yeah, my undergrad, my degree was in math with a minor in secondary education. So the plan was to do high school math. Um, teaching and then that didn't happen and long story short here I am as a missionary uh, this is my second year as a missionary and my second year here at USC yay so, mm -hmm. yay you changed so many lives so many here <laughs> and yeah can you just take a second a math major like absolutely not and I'm in accounting and I absolutely anyone could not needs a tutor that. LMK <laughs> there you go I'm dead okay so um, have you ever used your college major degree? Oh, like... Have you used it from... Like, since graduating? Yeah, since graduating. Hmm. That's the real question That here. is the real question, <laughs> yeah. I've, like... I mean, I became a missionary right after I graduated, so, mm -hmm. like, I haven't been teaching at all. Um, but I've, like, tutored a few students here or there, and... Sometimes I'll see people, like, doing their math homework, and they don't know what they're doing, and I'm like, oh, actually, like, this is how you do it, and it's super fun, and I love it. So. A genius. <laughs> but yeah. I, that's so rare. I love it. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. Um, why did you pick math? Oh. That's what I want to know. <laughs> well, I, I have always been really good at math. Um, it was, like, my best subject in school, and I always loved it because it just, like, I just got it. It, it, was, it always came, like, fairly easily to me and so whenever I was a senior in high school and I was trying to figure out like what major I wanted to do to like choose um kind of went back and forth a lot I knew that I didn't want like a desk job because I like people and so I wanted to be working with people so there was one I like kind of was looking at teaching but they don't have um they don't have a major for like secondary education you have to get your your um, degree in the subject that you want to teach so it's like kind of looking and then for like two seconds I was doing like uh, sports management or something like that no way. it was literally before I even like <laughs> signed up for classes you know I like no, switched I like so. three times um, <laughs> and then finally I was thinking about it I was like well I like math and I had thought about teaching before my mom's a teacher and I liked like I would help my friends mm -hmm. um with like their math homework and stuff and I liked teaching and, and I was like, family. <laughs> yeah I was like okay this is great I'm good at math and I get to work with people so yeah that's kind of how I ended up that's so awesome oh my gosh yeah I'm glad there are people like you because <laughs> I really struggled in um, yeah. business calc I'm not gonna lie so where were you three years ago <laughs> um <laughs> senior year of college so. that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so do you want to explain a little bit of what you do as a focus missionary here? Yes. So uh, as a focus missionary, um, I work with a team of missionaries. So it's me and three others, another girl, me, and then um, our two male teammates, Eric and Jose. And so the four of us work together um, here at the student center, but then also on campus. We, um, yeah, we have lead Bible studies for students, and then we, like, kind of mentor students to help teach them, like, how to lead Bible study and how to invest in people um, so that, yeah, so that we can be, like, spreading the gospel through, uh, like, our relationships with each other because that's how Jesus did it, so. Mm -hmm. True. Yep. That's a great sum of everything. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so how is it being a missionary? It's like for you. It's very fun. I love it. I I'm so glad that I'm doing this. It's like yeah. It's a, I know it's a, it's like where like I like want to be and like what I was like being called to do. Um, mm-hmm. So it's it's a lot of fun. Um, it's very sanctifying. Um, you know, at the same time, it's yeah. It's like very difficult. Um, there's just like a lot of suffering and like um, yeah, yeah, just like a lot of like different. Um, difficulties that come along with being a missionary you grow a lot and you like learn a lot about yourself um and a lot about like who Jesus is um and then all at the same time you're working with college students who are super fun but also can be part of your difficulty um (laughs) so a train wreck yeah so it's 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 great Mm -hmm. yeah so definitely definitely hard not not something that like just anyone could do, um, but, yeah, it's very fulfilling. Yeah, going so. off of that as, like, not being a part of, like, focus in general, like, you can totally see that you guys were, like, meant to do that. I don't know. Like, it's just very, I don't know what it is, but, like, when we're all around you all, like, mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, they're supposed to do this, like, yeah. and they're doing a great job, so it's really cool mm-hmm. to see that. I don't know. I love fulfillment. <laughs> um, and, yeah, what's your favorite part about it? There's so many aspects. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's see. I think just, like, um, the people that I get to work with and, like, the life that is, like, shared mm-hmm. um, through, like, working with those people. So whether it's, like, um, my teammates and, like, getting to, like, getting to know them and, like, share my life with them. Um, and through that, like knowing more who I am and who Jesus is and then like growing in friendship with them or if it's like students and like getting to like enter into their lives um yeah and just like be able to like talk to them about like yeah about like prayer about like growing in their faith but then also like about how they have all of these tests this week you know or like there's like things with their family it's like yeah yeah as a missionary I get to like fill a very like special place um Mm -hmm. in people's lives and it's and it's like a very big privilege Uh, and so it's I think yeah that is my favorite part is just like getting to like experience like the shared life with all of the people that I work with um yeah it's it's just like it is it's like a gift yeah no it definitely is especially like in college it's such a crucial time because Mm -hmm. like you decide like what you want your life to become yeah slash like do you want to be like do you want to stay in faith or mm-hmm. do you want to pursue other things, you yeah. know? So it's yeah. Really well, and it's crazy. cool too, like working with students having just graduated two mm-hmm. years ago. Um, it's like, it's funny because people will tell me like, oh, like I'm struggling with this thing or like this school is hard or like I'm having these roommate problems or whatever it is. And I can like look back at my time in college and, and see like where I experienced that. And so it's really cool because – Sometimes I'm like, okay, yeah, I know that I like understand exactly what you're talking about. This was my experience, and this is like, kind of this, you know, this is like the advice I would give you. Or yeah, just like this is this is what I experienced. Or sometimes people will be like freaking out about something and and having like being out of college for two years. And it's like now those things that I experience, I'm like that literally like is the <laughs> smallest, thing, you know. And so sometimes I laugh. I'm like, yeah. But you're like, gonna be okay, you know. Yeah. Um, but like in the moment, it feels like this this big huge thing, and so like yeah, just being able to like walk. You're it. like a spiritual big sister. That's <laughs> literally what it is. <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah. like that's so cool. Uh-huh. Wow, I love that so much. Um, okay, this is a terrible question, I know. But where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, man. I know, so much stress, anxiety, um, hmm. a general idea, because sure. I don't know what I'm doing. Sure, either. sure. Uh, well, I can do two years. I know I'm going to do another two years with focus. Yeah. Um, and so then past that, uh, <laughs> the, the, the hope would be that maybe possibly I would be married and, like, yeah. maybe have a kid or two. Um, I... We'll hopefully be in Texas if I'm not with Focus anymore. Um, yeah, 
I don't, I, I could see myself like teaching. I've also thought about um, getting a master's in like Ooh. counseling. Uh, a lot of my friends are doing that and a lot of like what I do as a missionary, I'm not a counselor, but like it's, it's like kind, kind of, of like, like in the same wheelhouse, you know? Uh, and so, uh, yeah, and like that, I would still get to like kind of fill that same space that I'm filling as, as a missionary. So, yeah, maybe that, but also maybe something <laughs> completely different. So, so many possibilities. Uh-huh. And that's so exciting. Yeah, that is really exciting. Oh my gosh, it's crazy to think about that. <laughs> Um, okay, what is, a, what, or it doesn't have to be one thing. Like, what are a couple things you really want to accomplish in life? It can be literally anything you want. Oh. Yeah. Um, I mean, and the more specific things uh, is, like, yeah, I, like, want to have a family, and I want mm-hmm. to be able to, like, be a mom and, like, uh, raise, like, my kids to, like, know how to, like, love and serve each other um, and, like, how to love and serve God. Um, I think that's, like, it's, like, you're seeing, there's this, like, de- like, the, you, you can see in some, in some areas, like, the church is, it seems as though it's, like, diminishing, you know, and it's, yeah, like, the best sure. way, the best way to, to, like, grow the church is, like, through the family, um, and I've seen that, like, with my family and with, with my friends' families, and so that would be, like, a more specific thing, but I think, like, in general, I just, like, I just want to be able to love people as Jesus does, which is, like, a big... So big. It's, like, a big task um, (laughs) and something that I've, like, been, like, asking Jesus to, like, help me grow in for a while now. So, yeah, that, I mean, there are, like, a lot of other small things. Yeah. Yeah, like, the most important thing, I think. Yeah, it's just, I, like, want to be able to love. So. So important. Mm -hmm. Well, good thing you're young. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, what are some of your favorite things to do? Um, I like hanging out with my friends. Um, we really doesn't matter what we do. I could literally go to your house and we could do nothing and it would be great. Those are the best friends. Um, yeah, so I like, I just like, like being with people and especially the people who like know me, um, well. I like soccer. Um, I like college football, specifically <laughs> Aggie football in Kyle Field. <laughs> and that's the best. Um, let's see, what else? I like to I like to be outside. So like growing up my family went camping a lot, so like camping, hiking, swimming, like all that stuff. That's so fun. You're very busy. But <laughs> that's that's a good like stress reliever though. Yeah, for sure. Have you taken any personality tests? Yes. These are my favorite, and, like, uh-huh. what were your results? You can do, like, whichever one you want. Yeah, so I've done the Enneagram. My favorite. <laughs> On the Enneagram, I am a two-wing three. Oh, and, I can see that. Um, I've done the Myers-Briggs. Yeah. And on that one, I haven't done that one in a long time. And I can never remember mine. ES, <laughs> ESFJ is, is what okay. it is. Okay. Yeah, so. Not um, gonna lie, I probably don't remember which one. It's like the I couldn't tell you. Yeah, honestly. Wait, let's look it up. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, the console. You know that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Wait, shut up! I think this is mine. <laughs> no way. Wait, let me look. The only I remember the people. Yeah, this one's mine too. Okay, shut yeah. up. That's weird. What are like some of your favorite personality traits? Oh. Of yours. Of mine? Yes. Like my own? Yes. Oh. That you can like see or like oh I really like that about myself. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, I'm, like, very outgoing. Um, For sure. Like, you know, there are some people who, like, mm, not that they don't like people, but they, it, they're just, like, not going to, like, take initiative and, like, introducing themselves. I'm not that type of person. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, I'll go up and introduce myself. I love meeting new people. Um, I feel like, yeah, because of that, I'm, like, pretty welcoming, and, like, people feel free to be themselves around me. Uh, which I like because that's what I desire. It's kind of like <laughs> I've, I've noticed this, like, things that I do for other people, because I'm a two, um, is, like, what I want other people to do for me. So, like, mm-hmm. yeah, like, very welcoming. Um, I'm fun. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I am very funny if I do say so myself, um, which I do. Which um, I do. <laughs> yeah, what else? I think, yeah, I also... Um, I like, it's kind of like what I was saying before of, like, I like to be a place that people can, like, come. 
uh, and like you listen to and like find like consolation. Uh, so like I lo- I like listening to people mm-hmm. um, even if it's like like whether it's just like oh this is what I did today or listen to this stupid crazy <laughs> thing that happened to me or if if like someone's like struggling with something you know yeah, I just like yeah I I I like to like receive people in like whatever it is so mm-hmm. wow that is that's actually such a gift though because mm-hmm. I feel like that's hard to do for some people like me like I can't sit down and listen if like you're boring me I'm like yeah, <laughs> I'm over this yeah yeah it's really bad but yeah. well, I'm glad there's people like you uh-huh. but yeah no I've seen that though like the first time I ever met you you were like so like oh hey I want to get to know you blah, 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 whatever I don't yeah. know what happened but like <laughs> It was very, like, I can attest to the welcoming, for sure. Yeah. So, okay, what motivates you to, like, I guess, oh. like, whatever stage of life you want mm. to talk about, but in general? I mean, I think in general I'm a pretty motivated, like, just, like, naturally motivated yeah. person, so there's not, like, like, if something, okay, so I guess, like, if there's just a thing that needs to be done that I have to do, then this time motivate. That's yeah. what motivates me. You know, I'm yeah. like, okay, like, this thing, like, <laughs> let's do it, you know? Or if it's, like, a goal that I have or, yeah. or just, like, yeah, I don't know, some something, something, like, general. I'm like, okay, like, I want to do this. Um, For sure. Yeah, just, like, I'm, I'm, like, pretty naturally motivated. But then also, yeah. like, thinking about um, in the grand scheme of things of, like, okay, like, uh, especially if there, there are times when, when I'm, like, <laughs> really don't want to do that um and then just being able to like think like okay um like yeah being able to, to really like get over myself you know and yeah. say like okay <laughs> I'm gonna do this because this is something that I'm being asked to do or I'm gonna do this because like Jesus is asking me to do this and like True. if I am able to like be detached from myself then like I will be more like united to him so yeah. Ooh, that detachment. Uh-huh. That's so it hard. It sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. It sucks, but that's how you become a saint. So yeah, you know. but, um, we need to put that somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we need to write that down somewhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sure. I totally relate to the motivation, though. Like I just, I just do stuff. Like, yeah, I don't uh-huh. have to have a reason. I just. It's very, it. it's very interesting to me whenever I meet people who, like, aren't like that, which is, like, not a bad thing, yeah. but, like, I just don't, it doesn't compute in my mind, I'm, like, okay, like, just do it, yeah, no, like, I am, literally, just do it, you know, even if it's, like, something, something that you're, like, oh, I really don't want to do this, you know, yeah, and, like, for some people, that's just, like, harder, you know, that's, like, the cross Mm -hmm. that they bear, but for me, I'm, like, I just don't want to do it, and then sometimes I, like, will get, I'm, like, yeah, can you just, like, do it? Yeah. You know? yeah that's <laughs> like, literally me. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We're going to we're gonna yeah. stop dragging our feet. No, exactly. No complaining. Like, we're, and we're just going to do it. Because yeah, exactly. Because something that we have to do. And, like, yeah, because, yeah, we're being, I'm being united to Jesus. You know? Yeah. And I, like, want to, I want to be able to say yes to that without, like, pouting about it, you know? Yeah, so. no pouting here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I feel like. There's not a lot of people like that, mm-hmm. like, you know, because mm-hmm. you're the first person I've met that's like, yeah, I'm self-motivated, mm-hmm. like, I can just do whatever, mm-hmm. because, like, most of my friends, I'm like, do you have, like, what motivates you, and, like, they told me, like, a reason, which is great, like, that's yeah. awesome, but, like, I don't know, what's mm-hmm. right for me, because I'm like, I'll just get up and do what I have to do, like, yeah. Yeah. I don't think about it. Yeah, well, and with things that I want to do, the thing that motivates me is definitely, like, people, you know, yeah. like, if there's something that I'm like, okay, like, my friends are going to go hang out, but I have this thing that I have to do. Or if it's, like, my friends are making plans, and that's just it. And I'm like, oh, I'm motivated to go <laughs> to that because my friends are going to be there. Exactly. And I'm hang out with them, you know, so. Yeah. No, yeah. I totally get that. That's awesome. Okay. And because we were in a pandemic, what was the most thing the, – What that didn't make sense. What was the thing you were most proud of of mm-hmm. yourself last year? Like, what did you do that you were like, yes. <laughs> like, in the past year? Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, like we can go a little farther up before the pandemic sure. if you want. Yeah. But whatever helps. I'd say so. Last year was my first year here, um, and there was a lot that happened last year. Um, like with everything with Father Marchin happening, oh, yeah. um, and like his like really surprising passing. So that happened, and then literally the week after, like COVID yeah. happened, and then 
Um, and then last year, all three of my teammates who were here with me all left staff. So I was the only one left <laughs> at that point. Um, it was just me. We didn't have a chaplain and there, we didn't have a campus minister last year. So, oh my gosh. yeah, I think the thing that I'm most proud of is like being able to like come back. Um, and mm-hmm. like when we came back in July, uh, and I like met my, my three new teammates and like met Father Williams, our new chaplain and Matt Kelly, our new campus minister. It was like, I had these five people who I would be working with and who were like in charge of this place, but who had never been here before. Um, and so, yeah, I, I kind of like took on a lot of responsibility to yeah, like for sure. help, help like get us through, especially like that first um yeah those first few months really like that first semester you know mm-hmm. so yeah I'm like proud of being able to do that and kind of like not that not that I was like the backbone you no, know yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but just like being able to come in with the perspective uh, of like having been here and kind of knowing the ins and outs of a few things um and just like being able to be helpful in that in that sense exactly like you already knew some of the students Mm -hmm. you already knew like the place you're familiar with like how things were working Mm -hmm. like that I can't even imagine how big of a help that was Mm -hmm. like for everybody so yeah yeah and in a pandemic kind of scary but it all worked out yeah but hey you're motivated so you use your gifts and you're Uh like guys we got to do this yeah there you go. That's awesome. Yeah, I didn't even think about the transition. Like, mm-hmm. it was I really big. did not think about that. Yeah. Kudos to you. That's awesome. And now it's thriving. Yeah. The community is thriving. It's very, so. it's very amazing. Yeah. So. No, it's definitely awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, if you could tell your younger self one piece of advice, what would it be? Okay, I think I would, yeah, I would go, I would go back to freshman year of college, you know. There are a lot of things I could tell myself before then, so we're just going to start start there. Um, and, yeah, my freshman year, it was good. It was a good year, um, but it was just, like, a lot of stretching, a lot of growing. Um, and, like, I think I experienced a lot of what, what most freshmen experience of, like, feeling lonely and, like, feeling like... Yeah. All, like I have no friends, you know, and especially especially this year, I'm sure there are a lot more people who feel like that because of COVID. Um, but yeah, I like can remember myself like being sad and like all this stuff. And and at the time, it was like okay, like this, this was a big thing, you know, mm-hmm. and it was real. But now when I look back at it, I'm like, you just need to pick yourself up, you know, yeah. and like keep going. And so I think. Yeah, that's kind of what I, the advice that I would give myself and, and like, to, like, encourage, Mm. um, to, like, just, like, trust Jesus, Uh, which, like, my freshman year of college was really the first time that I, I I grew up Catholic, so, like, we went to Mass, and I liked being Catholic, but there wasn't very much more to that, Um, and so it was, like, the first time that I was, like, experiencing, like, the more, um, and so, yeah, just, like, to encourage myself, like, to trust God, and not to, like, yeah, not to, like, put all of my eggs into, like, other people's baskets, because those people are, they're gonna fail me at some point, you know, and so, yeah, just being able to, like, trust, um, and, like, not let, like, other people's, you know, like, humanness, um, determine, like, my, like, fulfillment, you know, so. Mm-hmm. profound I love it no I'm seriously we need to write these down it's like, <laughs> a good thing you're recording yeah I'm about to like when I'm editing I'm gonna be like okay I'm gonna write this one down uh-huh. and put it somewhere yeah. so I remember <laughs> so funny okay this is the last question okay. slash you can say whatever you want after sure. this but what is one thing you think the world needs most of right now love but like like the in the real sense of like what love is you mm-hmm. know I think like that word has been very twisted and so people think that it's a lot of different things um but so like love in the sense of like yeah like giving myself for like someone else you know it's like people think love is like oh like I like you you know yeah I'm attracted and like that's part of it um but it's like even the people that are difficult for us to get along with um like we're called to love them so like I don't maybe like that person um but I want to be able to like to love them which means that I have to sacrifice myself I have to sacrifice um yeah maybe my desires sometimes you know um 
and so yeah just like people realizing like what love is and it's like you can't you can't understand like the true like sense of love mm-hmm. if you like don't know Jesus so like true. um yeah being able to, yeah people people like they don't know love because they don't know God and so like um yeah just like seeing a real need for yeah. like people to really understand like yeah there's like more to all of this than just like seeking to like fill all of these human desires that I have because I'm going to be hungry again, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and so, yeah, just, like, seeing that love is, like, the only way to do, to, like, actually, like, fill, like, give us what we, what we need, you know? So. No, for sure. You brought up so many great points, and I agree when you're saying, like, if we don't know God, we don't know what love is, mm-hmm. because God is love, and he's the one that first, like, showed us what it is, so how are we supposed to know what it is if we don't know him? Okay. Yeah. You know, like, it's logic. Literally, uh-huh. it's logic. Yeah. So, I don't know, but I don't think people realize that. They're mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah. I'll be okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and it's, like, this whole thing of, like, um, like self-preservation, True. you know? And yeah. so, it's, like, I can't love someone if I'm, like, trying to, like, preserve myself. Um, but, like, that is, like, what has been um, kind of, like, shouted from, from the rooftops of, like, you need you need to like preserve yourself and so people aren't able to love because they're so like like trapped inside the box of like I'm gonna protect myself you know yeah and and it's like there's a quote hold on so it's uh father Henry Mm Nowen and he he has a bunch of really great books his best book one of my favorites (laughs) the return of the prodigal son it's a great read if you haven't read it, <laughs> read it, it'll change your life. Um, this, I don't know which book this is from, but it's a quote from one of his books. And he's talking about love. And he says, every time we make the decision to love someone, we open ourselves to great suffering because those we most love cause us not only great joy, but also great pain. The greatest pain comes from leaving. When the child leaves home, when the husband or wife leaves for a long period of time or for good, when the beloved friend departs to another country or dies, the pain of leaving can tear us apart. Still, if we want to avoid the suffering of leaving, we will never experience the joy of loving. And love is stronger than fear, life stronger than death, hope stronger than despair. We have to trust that the risk of loving is always worth taking. Yeah. And people don't love like that. Yeah. You know. No, for sure. Oh, I I read that. That was so good. Yes. (laughs) I remember thinking like, I think I have it screenshotted on my in my phone actually. (laughs) Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, I think I do. No, but, like, I agree. That's one thing I love about, like, growing up Catholic is we're taught that sacrifice is good. The most loving way we can serve somebody is to, like, give ourselves to them, like, completely, which is, like, unheard of, I feel like, right now, which is, like, I don't know. It's definitely, like, a missing piece on why our world is, like, the way Mm -hmm. it is, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I think if we start living with the sacrificial love, the... I don't know. I think it's going to change others and, like, like a domino effect, kind of. Mm-hmm. You're like, yeah. wait, what is this? Mm-hmm. You know? Which is, like, really exciting. But, like, it's terrible because we have to do it. You know? Yeah. Because we have to suffer. <laughs> exactly. No, we don't. But it's good. There's yeah. good fruit out of it. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Anything else you want to input? Say? Giga Maggie's. <laughs> this Texas girl. I'm over. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, thank you so much for coming. Um, we'll Thanks see how this video me. looks, but yeah. I'm really excited for everything you it's have to do. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Pleasure doing business. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. But yeah, no, thank you so much. It's literally been such a joy getting to know you, and, like, I'm really upset I didn't get to know you the first year you were here, but, like, I was a mess, so <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> but um, here we are now. Here we are. Like, you're doing incredible things, mm-hmm. and just, like, everything you said, like, just made me think so I'm probably going to be thinking about all these thoughts like the rest of the day <laughs> so Thanks, thank God. you for that no for sure <laughs> and then hopefully y'all see this and if you start like getting some gale advice and putting <laughs> time to your life so yeah but thank you so much for being our first guest and I'm sure everybody's gonna love this and yeah, I'm gonna plug your Instagram and all that. Oh, so great! Can follow you and like, subscribe, <laughs> all the things. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and if you go to the University of South Carolina, be sure to check out St. Thomas More and the Focus team. They're incredible people. Um, just literally just chatting them up. Like, they're awesome. So Come definitely. be our friend. Yeah, exactly. They just want to be friends with you. All that. Okay. Amazing. But yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Hope y'all liked it.